Hi, dear parents. Welcome back to Math Hour. Uh, today I'm going to teach you a new skill we're learning in class. This skill is called absolute value. Uh, this is on the heels of learning how to do negative number math. Absolute value is a very easy concept to understand. It's a high school level concept and it's just a way for kids to uh, practice more of negative number math and see how they can manipulate those numbers and solve them. And I'm going to show you some examples right now. Let's begin! Let's see. Let's take an example right now. But first, let me explain to you what absolute value is. Absolute value. As I explained to the kids, every number in the world is a positive number. Unless there's a negative in front of it. So for example, the number 13. By itself, number 13 is a positive number. 13 is the same thing as plus 13. Same. Now, if I put minus in front of 13, then minus 13 is a negative number. Minus 13 is minus 13. This is now how absolute value works. Absolute value has a special symbol. It has two bars that looks like this. Basically, it looks like a house. And inside this house, you have your number. For example, the number 13. And the question is usually like this. What is the absolute value of 13? And the answer is 13. Nothing changes. So far, so good. Nothing has changed. Everything is the same. Positive number, positive number. Negative number, negative number. Absolute value of a positive number, positive number. Nothing has changed. But this is where it starts to change. Check it out. What is the absolute value of minus 13? Now, I explain it to the kids. The whole purpose of absolute value is to change this mean, old, nasty, negative number into a happy, smiling, positive number. That is the only reason for the existence of absolute value. It hates negative numbers and it wants to turn it into a positive number. Therefore, the absolute value of negative 13 is positive 13. And that's it. That's what absolute value is. It turns negative numbers into a positive number. Let's try another example. Let's try this one. What is the absolute value of minus 72? Again, the whole reason of absolute value to exist is to change this mean old negative number into a happy, smiling, positive number. Therefore, the absolute value of minus 72 is positive 72. And that's how it works. Let me show you another example. What is the absolute value of 27 and there's a negative sign in front. How do you do this? Well, take a look inside the absolute value box. What number is inside the absolute value box? Is it a positive number or a negative number? Well, that's a 27 plus 27. That's a positive number. So the absolute value of 27 is just good old 27. But take a look at the outside. This is a negative sign. We have to keep the negative sign. We can't get rid of it. So therefore, the negative sign, you take it and put it right over here. And that is our answer. Again, absolute value will change a negative number as long as the number is inside the box. If the sign is outside of the box, 
Absolute value can do nothing to it. It cannot change it. So you've got to keep the negative over here, the negative sign. Let's try another example. Let's do the absolute value of <clears throat> O minus 99 and a minus sign in front. Again, absolute value will only work on numbers inside the box. Well, absolute value of minus 99, negative number. I hate it. Let's change to positive. It becomes plus 99. Oh, but wait a minute. There's a minus sign in front. It's on the outside of the box. We have to keep it. So minus sign will come down and the answer will become minus 99. And that's how the absolute value works. Let's do one more example. One more. Let's take the absolute value Oh, how about minus 6 plus 3? Let's do an absolute value calculation. First, we have to do this problem, minus 6 plus 3, using our previous knowledge on how to do negative number math. Step number 1. We have a minus sign, we got a plus sign. Step number 1. Minus and plus is minus. Step number two, take your big number, six, minus, this pen doesn't work, minus, small number, three. Six minus three, three. And step number three, let's circle the numbers, plus three and minus six. Which number is bigger? Six. What sign is in front of 6? Minus sign. Take the minus sign and put it in our answer. So, minus 6 plus 3 equals minus 3. We're not done yet. We still have to do the absolute value of our answer. So bring back the absolute value box. And now, let's solve it. What is the absolute value of minus 3? Absolute value does not like negative numbers, so get rid of the negative number. And the answer becomes good old regular 3 or plus 3. And that's how you do absolute value. Thank you.